Good evening, my name is Zachary Levin, and I'll be demonstrating how to create, run, and manage a tournament using challenge.com. This website is a free-to-use bracket generation site where you can easily host brackets, and I know it's a lot of tournament organizers use this. I prefer to use this site compared to paper brackets because it's extremely easy and challenge has all the tools you need in order to run a bracket even if you don't have any experience running them you can use this both on a desktop and a mobile device and i'm using a desktop uh, for this demonstration now the first thing you need to do is to go to challenge.com and you're going to be uh, brought to their home page where you can uh use a bracket generator and that's only for that would be only for like a sample but we're going to be creating a tournament and running it. So click on create a tournament. You're going to need to create an account, but for the sake of the demonstration, uh, I'm not gonna ask you to do that. And you, I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. And so you're gonna be brought to the Your Turns page, and then you're gonna go to create a tournament. Now you can use this for, this is mainly used for video game tournaments, but you can use this for like other competitions. And this is just a bracket generation site. So you're going to need to have a term name. We're just going to put an example, and you can shuffle the URL uh, to be whatever it is. So you can paste it uh, wherever you want. Uh, you can set a optional description that's not necessary. And now, as I said, this is you, you can do this for video game tournaments mainly, but you can use this for other games as well. So like, let's put in like hockey or something. Let's put, yeah, let's put in air hockey just just for the sake of it. And then there's different tournament types. There's single stage tournament, which is like a single elimination or double elimination bracket, or two stage tournament, and that's like pools or like group stages. And then you move on to an actual bracket form. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to be doing single stage. And then we're also going to be doing single elimination format. Um, and we can include a match for third place, but this is just a quick demonstration. Uh, usually you'll uh, provide a list of participants. Uh, and registration fees are usually handled outside of a competition itself. So we're going to leave that as is. Uh, we're going to leave these unchecked because this would only be for like team games. And then this uh, participants uh, cap capacity or a cap that's usually uh, figured out by an event beforehand and then for tournaments if you're starting a tournament right away you're going to be doing it mark as tentative and don't have to worry about these things either or advanced options so we're going to save and continue and we are going to move on to adding participants so we're going to have we're going to have six people we've got Fred, Eric, Jim, Henry, Toby, and Aaron. Now, as you can see, there's seeding. Seeding basically determines who is most likely to win the tournament. Higher seed means you have a higher chance, and lower seed means that you have a lower chance. Having a higher seed gives you a I, which means that you are ahead of everyone else in terms of rounds because Having the best two players fight at the start or play against each other at the start is really considered really bad organization, and that's why buys exist. So as soon as you think everything is good, we're going to start the tournament. Now these guys are going to play. Uh, let's just assume that they're going to play first. The two games is the winner of that set. So Henry and Toby play their game, and Henry wins two. And Toby wins zero games. So Henry is selected as the winner. You have to verify the winner in order for this to work. So that works. Jim beat Aaron 2 1. And now, alright, Fred and Henry have to play 2 0. Oh, Fred was uh, expected to be the winner. But, oh no, Eric has to leave early. He didn't expect this to take so long. So if you, if you do a disqualification, you handle this as negative one for the person being disqualified and zero for the other person because you didn't really play them so you can't say that uh you can't say that they had an actual set so now this let's say they're playing first of three games fred is he won three 
games and Jim won two games. And congratulations to Fred, he won the tournament or the competition. And with that, we can end the tournament and we have our results. And I, I hope that this uh, demonstration uh, for challenge uh, was very helpful and I hope that uh, you will be able to use this video to help run a bracket in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.